Hey guys, welcome back. I thought it'd be fun to start with a bald house today and see how many ways we can roof a square. Now, typically any shape house is going to be better than a straight up square, but you actually can make a decent house out of a square. It's a really easy shape to start out with if you're beginning with building, so let's find some ways to make your square houses look a little bit better with some variety in roofing. I feel like we can get a couple of the classics out of the way here with a hipped roof and a gabled roof. Going with hipped or gable is a super easy option for just like a classic suburban style house. Just make sure that you keep the pitch fairly low on a square because if you just leave it at the default, it's going to look like an A-frame wannabe and it's just not going to look very great. So remember to make sure that the space above that front door is at most equal to the height of that front door. Otherwise it's going to look tiny. Now we can take a gable and turn it sideways, then using shift C to get more curve controls make a little cottage. Of course what's really going to sell this would be adding some of these roof decorations. And that's how you turn a square into a cottage. I'm literally just doing these as I think of them, um, so how they're edited in order or not in order, I don't know yet. But if you want to do something more on the colonial side, bring in the eaves, shift C, and then you just want to bring this up a touch if you're going to do more like um, like a Cape Cod colonial. You may also want to add dormers, not working on that today, because our goal for today is simply to see how many styles we can come up with based on just a square. If you just take the colonial roof, extend it a bit, and restyle, uh, it's a barn! Wow! By adding a gable with a cover over the door, which first of all distracts from the roof being slightly higher pitched, this will give you more of that really popular modern farmhouse vibe. You could also grab a half gable to go for a more modern or mid-century look. Again, making sure we keep the pitch down because the square is going to look large and awkward anyway, so we want to make sure that the roof doesn't make it even worse. You could even add a little bit more interest to a roof by adding a skylight. I have a whole tutorial about this which I'll link here. Now if we really want to go modern, we could grab some platforms, extend it to make an even bigger square, and then make one side a little bit higher. You can choose a different side for your platform by clicking here, and I'm just going to stick with white. An inlaid exterior trim can help as well, and that will give you more of a modern contemporary roof. We could also do some combination techniques using the half gabled roof from earlier, and the platforms. Depending on how you style it, this could really quickly bring your build back into a mid-century or modern contemporary style, or make it lean a little bit more industrial like what I've done here. I'm also hoping I remember to screenshot all of these because otherwise that's going to make thumbnail creation kind of tricky. Oh well, future me problem. Another thing that could be fun to do if you want to get a little artistic is to start with a half gable with only one tile wide and pitch it down to the lowest pitch possible, and then copy that piece, place it, raise it one. Copy, place, raise one, and then when you get to the other side, just copy and place again to go back down. This can make a really interesting, almost postmodern or art deco shaped roof. Um, might not be practical for every residential build, but could be really cool if you were making an art gallery, museum, cafe, any sort of commercial lot. It looks kind of neat from this angle too. As long as we're talking about using multiple roof pieces, let's look at another sort of cottage style roof you could do. First we're going to grab three of these. Make sure that the middle one doesn't have any eaves and I mean that in any direction. Pitch is a little high so I'm going to bring it down a touch. Then copy this roof piece and place it over the front door. after getting rid of these eaves, and of course restyling. We have a kind of different cottage vibe here. This is more something that I would see in my hometown, um, like along the lake or something, as opposed to the other cottage roof, but they both kind of give off that we're in the country, let's plant some flowers vibe. You could also take a gabled and hipped roof of the same pitch and layer them to bring home some island vibes. I did bring out the overhang a bit on the hipped roof, and this would be a great option if you wanted to add any sort of wraparound deck or if this was over the water on a dock. Um, because then you could add some columns and stuff, it would look really cool. And I was just looking at my Pinterest board to make sure I wasn't like missing any major styles, and I saw 
a mansard. Uh, so obviously we have to go over that now. I think I want to do brick. Alright, now this is kind of cheating because I wasn't planning on adding a second level. Um, but what you want to do is add a second level. And then you're just going to grab a half hip roof. line up the top of the roof with the top of the wall. You can add a touch of a curve if you're feeling it. And then copy and place that all around the build. Having a square roof makes this super easy. You can add a nice little fence on top. A mansard does look a little bit strange on a square roof, especially if you're not going to add any dormers on the top floor. Um, if you would be interested in that, I do have a tutorial here, and I'll be going into more detail on mansard roofs later in the month. But um, this is how you would do that on a square, and if you wanted it to be any shorter, you would just do the same thing except use a platform raised up a bit instead of that whole second room. A super easy way to make your roof look more Mediterranean would be to add a wood looking trim on a low pitched hip roof and grab some of the terracotta tiles. Depending on what region you're building in, you could of course extend the eaves. And that's pretty much how easy that is. Um, this is also super easy to extend if you had like a front deck or something. The last roof shape I could think to try would be to do something like in Mount Komorebi, which is inspired by Japan. I'm going to start with a hip roof, but pitch it down a bit, give it a little bit of a curve, and then I'm going to add a gable on top, which doesn't quite reach all the way to the end of the build. Again, pitch it down and curve it a bit to match making it smaller to line up a little bit better. Of course, adding trim and texture. And I think I'll go for some of these as well. If you're interested in any of these roof styles on something other than a square, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell because the second half of this month is going to be dedicated to specific roofing styles, such as farmhouse, mansard, cottage, um, all sorts of shapes, and just not on a square, more about how to do multi-story builds, building from reference photos, stuff like that. So make sure you follow along for those tutorials, I think you're really going to enjoy them. So aside from starting to do crazy shapes like this, I am pretty much out of time and ideas for today. The good news is those lined up. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, blah blah blah. Check out the top card for a full playlist of building tutorials I have on this channel, and check out the bottom card for roofing specific tutorials. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and have a great weekend! Bye!